energy flexibility in the era of renewables means that you've got to have a lot of sources coming together which end up balancing the demand on the grid. And at any one time, you need to have a surplus on that blend, given the fact that one of those sources might not be available. This is a really symbolic location. You can see the cars behind us racing around what was a disused coal mine. This coal mine is going to be transformed into a pumped hydro station. What that means is it's going to be acting like a big battery that's going to store excess renewable power and then put that onto the grid at times of low renewable generation. The way it works is you have two bodies of water. You have a lower reservoir and an upper reservoir, and they are connected by a set of pipes called a penstock. When there's an excess of renewable power on the grid, that power is used to pump water uphill to the upper reservoir. And then when the wind stops blowing or the sun stops shining, that water flows down through the pipes and drives turbines to generate electricity and put that clean power onto the grid. In Scotland, they take in an old asset, the commission, turning it to a pump hydro storage, which is great. We go in Neom to go into an area that is somewhat virgin, and we'll build infrastructure to bring water from the Red Sea, and we will put underground a large industrial energy asset. This will be unique in scale, nature positive, fully integrated into the, the grid of Neom. Well, at NEOM, we're going to take various uh, innovation in construction, technology. We're going to put it together into this one asset, one of the most efficient, sustainable pump hydro storage in the world.